Hey Anila, it's Dan from danwagner.co with a quick walkthrough on the code that I just posted in response to your question on excelguru.ca. So we're starting with your format file. We're going to import data from this tech file and you'll notice inside the code base that I changed the file path from the D as in Delta directory that you had to C blog Anila, which is just a file that exists on my computer. When you run this on your machine, you'll need to adjust the file path appropriately. But let's go ahead and run this for a simple case on tech where I'm interested in dates between the 1st of October from 2014 to the 10th of October in 2014. So I'm going to come into here, this import from target routine, click play. The tech file has been opened up and boom. Excel tells us we're all done. And you can see we wind up with 10 rows as expected with the first, second, third, and so on and so forth, all the way on through the 10th of October. And so the way that this code works is actually pretty straightforward. The most important part of the script is right here, where we're doing this checking on the target date so we iterate through the data block and we check the date in column A on that target file every time and we make sure that the date is in between the start date or the end date. And if it is in between the start date or the end date and we haven't reached the end of the file, which happens down here in row 50, which is guarded against right here with this if long last invoice row is less than 51, then what we do is simply set up a range, copy it from the target file to the invoice file, and then increment our counter for pasting to different rows inside the invoice sheet. So that example was really easy. Let's try an example where we wind up with more than 50 rows and let's see how the code reacts to that. So I created a tech2 file and this tech2 file you'll see every date in tech2 is the 1st of October in 2014. And I did this because now I can be very sure that we're going to wind up with more entries than the invoice sheet can handle. So Let's jump up here, change tech to tech2, and let's run the script again and see what happens. So once again, the app knows to open up the tech2 file. It starts to import data from this sheet, and as you can see, as we get closer to 50, it's still working, but we get this extra message here. We missed 10 transactions, because there were too many to fit. Nice. This way, we're letting the user know that the date range that he or she selected is potentially too big for the report as it exists right now. And so we'll click OK. And we get the all done message from Excel. Awesome. And so you can see we've got as many entries as you might expect. It doesn't exceed row 50 and the information has been pasted in the way it seems like you need it to. So I hope that this answers your question and if you have any other questions or concerns please don't hesitate to reach out and uh, I'll do my best to help. Thanks so much.